Hello, welcome to my backyard. Um, it's windy and there's pollen everywhere, so this should be fun. Um, tomorrow I have top surgery um, with Dr. Stanwicks from Richmond Plastic Surgeons. Um, uh oh, I got a text. Um, I'm very privileged to, that he lives, that his, he lives, I don't know where he lives. The office I'm going to live, ah, the office, I'm very, <clears throat> I'm very privileged in the fact that my doctor is only, his hospital is only 10 minutes away from my house. Um, I know a lot of guys have to like take like planes and stuff, but for me it's just a 10 minute drive, so I'm really th thankful for that. Um, but I just wanted to read, I wrote down a bunch of stuff, like fears of, okay, they're not, not quotes, actual, like, somewhat fears, and other just, like, things I've been thinking a lot about, about top surgery. Um, and I want to share it with you guys. Um, with less than 12 hours left with these, these bad boys. So let me just find it in my journal. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no. Okay. So I, like, have a list. There's, like, maybe 12 or so things on here. Um of just things I've been thinking about a lot, um, like, will I get feeling back? Uh, will the color in my nipples come back? Um, will my stretch mark shows? And that's like, um, my chest stretch marks, like, from binding a lot and just from like having uh, a chest and like gravity, so I have stretch marks here, and I don't know how much they're gonna show um, post-op. Um, like, uh, fear is like, will recovery be okay? Um, another one is like, what will my mental health be like for the next two or three months? Um, like I won't be able to exercise, um, which will be hard. I have, I mean, like I have the best support group ever of my friends and like they'll be there with me. But like at school, I've just been lying to people, telling people I'm getting a cyst removed from my chest. Um, and so like how would be having to keep this momentous thing a secret and on the down low at school? But then again, I keep everything a secret and the down low um, at school, so maybe it won't be that big of a problem for me. Um, another worry I have is like nipple placement. Like, I don't know, like, I don't wanna have funky nipples, but like, who does wanna, I don't know. Like, those are like common fears that most guys have, like nipple placements and stuff like that. Um, like, will my scars stretch? Like, three months after I get top surgery, I'm gonna be working at a backpacking camp all summer and I'm like, will that hard, strenuous work affect my results? Like, I'm still going to camp. Like, that's not going to stop me. Another, like, genuine fear I have is the, like, will I miss the sexual feeling in my nipples? Like, because this double incision, like, you, you lose all feeling. Like, it just feels like skin. Like, you don't get, like, the nipple. And, I don't, and sometimes it doesn't even, it's not even able to get hard anymore when you get cold and stuff like that. So, like, will I miss that? Yes! Oh, no wind! <sighs> okay, no cracks, just a bit of falling. Um, so yeah, like, will I miss my nipple feeling? Yes. How much will it affect my mental health? Um, I don't know, and I'm worried. <sighs> um, like, where will my dysphoria go next is another big fear I have. Oh, wind, wind. Oh, no. Okay, the pollen, you know, the whole allergy things and eyeballs. Okay, where, where, where will my dysphoria go next? Um, right now, a lot of my, pretty much all my dysphoria is in my chest, and, like, I do have some butt dysphoria, but I also just, I just keep telling myself, it's the Caribbean booty, like, but I know it's also just because I am physically, was born physically female, but I try to tell myself that my butt is just like, it's a part I gotta love, and I wonder, will my dysphoria go to the lower regions after I get over my chest dysphoria? Um... Another fear I have is, will I be physically and mentally ready for camp? Um, I talked about camp earlier, but like, like I love camping, but will I be able to like do this and like lift children up and like put a backpack on? Um, yes, it'll be like three-ish months from now, but I don't know what's gonna happen. So that's another fear I have. Um, <laughs> this is the, 
another fear I have about like specifically tomorrow and not recovery is like I could die. Like I've never been in surgery before or been on anesthesia or anything. Like I haven't had my um, wisdom teeth taken out or anything. So like I could die. Um, I hope I don't, but it's still a possibility and <laughs> a fear I have. Um, like, also, like, this is, these are more things I've just been thinking about. Like, what does it feel like to be numb? Like, I've had, like, my face numbed for teeth stuff. But, like, how does it feel for your whole chest to just be numb? Like, does it feel like it's asleep? Like, oh, I'm scared. Um. <laughs> Another fear that I, this I wrote a few days ago, um, a week ago, was, um, it just says, two weeks without testosterone, comma, mental health. Um, like, I don't know, I've was scared that like not being on tea will affect my mental health and it has um but not that much and i'm okay i'm just more emotional um but so far most of my emotions have been positive so it's been like just like a lot of positive emotions um which has been good um another fear another thing is okay i said this one t twice like will i be able to take care of my scars like i've been doing some research about scar treatment um, falling, uh, but like, will I be good at it, and can I maintain it, because I'm bad at stuff like that, and just worried if I'm getting the wrong type of products, because everyone I talk to that's had top surgery is white, um, and I'm not, surprise, spoilers, um, so will I be able to take care of my scars? <laughs> the last one is just school. And I've already touched on how um, school sucks. Um, so those are like my fears for top surgery. Um, I have top surgery April 6th with Dr. Stanwix um, from Plastic Surgeons, Richmond Plastic Surgeons. If you live in Richmond or Virginia and want his info, I will give it to you. Um, peace out. Um, I love you guys.